Many Christians are familiar with 1 John 5, 7, also known as the Kama Johannium or Trinitarian formula, as found in the King James Bible. For there are three that bear record in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost, and these three are one. Yet in many modern translations, the Trinitarian formula is lacking. Why is this? Is there a conspiracy to take out the Trinity? Or could there be another reason? First, let's take a look at the Greek texts. First, the Textus Receptus. There are three that bear witness in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Spirit, and these three in one are. Next, the majority or Byzantine text. For there are three that bear witness the spirit, and the water, and the blood, and there is three are one. And a modern Greek text, or a UBS third edition. There are three that bear witness, the spirit, and the water, and the blood, and these three are one. So why is this passage lacking in the Byzantine text, or majority text, and in modern critical texts? Let's take a look. Here is the textual apparatus in the UBS, which shows the lack of the Trinitarian formula. And this is attested to by Olive A and B, along with a whole host of other manuscripts, lectionaries, old translations, all except Vulgate and a few late minuscules. Now, while the text is lagging in almost every witness to this text, it is found in the text of a few minuscules, only four, two of which are late after Erasmus's first edition, so are suspect, but those two which are early are obvious translations from the Latin into the Greek. Let's take Codex 140 on us as an example. I'll show you an English translation of the Latin, and then we'll show you the text in Codex 140 on us. But first, notice the article in front of the Father. Word and the Holy Spirit. And what is not here, or here, or in the Textus Receptus, is Christos estin eletheia, or Christ is truth, or the truth. This phrase you can see in the Latin and in Codex Menfortianus and uh, Minuscule 629. So let's take a look at uh, the Dewey Reims and then I will show you a picture of Menfortianus so that you can see what is there. 
Here's the passage in the Dewey Reams. Starting in verse 6. And it is the Spirit that bears witness that Christ is the truth. For there are three that bear witness in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Spirit, and these three are one. Now those who will argue for the authenticity of this passage will not argue that this phrase, Christ is the truth, is authentic. Yet the manuscripts that they will refer to contain this, but they will not argue for its authenticity, just the Trinitarian formula. Let's take a look at Codex Monfortianus. Now, as you can see, it's an obvious translation from the Latin and cannot be considered authentic. And as I said before, 629, the same way. All the others are either extremely late 16th century or they're only marginal readings. Seeing as how there is no Greek text to support this passage, we have to say that it is not authentic. Now, is there a problem with this? Do we lose the Trinity? Absolutely not. No doctrine of the Christian faith relies on any one single passage, and the doctrine of the Trinity is so strong that even at the Council of Nicaea, they didn't need to quote this passage. And neither do we, especially if it's not authentic. Do your due diligence, study the word, and the doctrine of the Trinity will be clear. Thank you.